Um, so recall, why do seasons happen? Yes, indeed. Axial tilt is the reason for the seasons. So um, to explore Jovian seasons, then what we want to explore is their axial tilts. Um, so here are all of the gas giants with all of their different tilts. Um, Jupiter has a 3.1 degree tilt, pretty small. Saturn 26.7, kind of similar to Earth. Um, Uranus, as we've seen in the homework before, is at 97.8 degrees. And then um, Neptune is at 28.3 degrees, again, kind of similar to Saturn. So what does that mean about the seasons that these different worlds would experience? Well, on Jupiter, it has a 3.1 degree tilt. So if we put an observer at some northern latitude and then allow that observer to go to the other side of Jupiter's orbit about six Earth years later, um, what would we find? they experience very little change in solar flux because of that small tilt. So the seasons on Jupiter would not be very extreme. But Saturn is tilted by a greater amount. So much later, it would experience a larger change in uh, solar energy flux and a similar amount of change compared to its total or its average solar flux as Earth. So even though the change as a fraction of the average would be similar, the total amount of flux that the gas giants receive is way, way less because they're so far away from the sun. And for this reason, um, the gas giants don't experience um, significant differences in uh, atmospheric temperatures in their different seasons. So even though you might expect Saturn to experience more seasonal change than Jupiter, it really doesn't. Okay, um, well, I think I already kind of got to this, but maybe not. So consider what are some reasons, what do you think is the most important reason why it's difficult to observe Saturn's seasonal changes? All right, yeah, so the eccentricity doesn't matter very much. On Mars, the eccentricity serves to enhance its seasons compared to Earth because it's closer to the sun um, at its summertime, unlike the Earth, which has the opposite. It's closer to the sun in its wintertime. Um, maybe there is some effect from the atmosphere buffering out temperature changes that's plausible. Um, but the primary factor here is that its orbital period is really long, and that just makes it really hard to observe changes over time. So let me see. Let me come back to our do -do -do overall key characteristics of Jovian planets. Um, okay, so our orbital period in terms of years, Jupiter has an almost 12 year orbital period. Saturn's is about 30 years. And then Uranus and Neptune even longer. So 84 and 164 years. So because of this, we'd have to observe Saturn carefully over a 30 year period to see its full seasonal cycle. And this is just difficult to do on, on a human time span possible obviously with large collaborations, um, but still it's difficult to do, especially given that we haven't had solid technology to observe the seasons on Saturn for very long at all. Okay, let me come back here. So just one more review question while we're on the topic of seasons. For which of these people would it be winter? Okay. I see the most votes for person on the left is experiencing winter. And that's right. So um, is someone willing to share your, your reasoning and just remind us of why that person on the left would be experiencing winter? Yep, exactly. So person on the right, the sunlight is incident at a steeper angle. So it's more directly um, incident on the ground. And that's going to lead to higher solar flux on the ground. Whereas the person on the left, the sunlight is going to be coming in at a steeper, at a, a greater angle from their um, zenith point. And so they're not going to experience as direct of solar flux. Yes. All right. So we've already explored seasons on Uranus, but to remind you, um, it has a very long year. And since it's got such an extreme tilt, 
an observer at the North Pole would spend about half the year facing directly away from the sun and about half the year facing directly towards. So their entire season would be about 42 years. Um, this is an extreme change in solar energy flux. So you would expect that this would create extreme differences in atmospheric temperature, but again, it doesn't. And then finally, Neptune kind of is in a similar situation at, as Saturn, except that uh, it takes a really long time to go from summer to winter here, 82 and a half Earth years. But again, it would experience a similar change in solar energy flux um, and a lot lower total average flux.